What's going on my fitness fam? Coach Jay in the house, the house that Edry built, back for another Technique Tuesday. Uh, so this one, if you're fortunate enough to get this station, is a uh, uh, Revo Bar shoulder press, all right? So uh, not necessarily a push press, but more of a, a strict press. So what you're gonna do here is we're gonna grab a Revo Bar, so I'm gonna show you what it looks like, okay? So back it up here. So the way you're gonna set up with this, you basically wanna kinda stack the wrists um, nice and straight, so you don't kind of you don't want to have it in that front rack position. All right, you want to have the um, the forearms nice and vertical to create that nice straight bar path. All right, I'm gonna take my head backwards here. So you want to create that nice bar path. You are gonna kind of lean back slightly, but then you want to engage those abs. Don't lean back too much. Uh, that means you've got too much weight, and you're gonna put a lot of pressure on that lower back. But we do want to engage that core. So there is a little slight lean back, all right? So wrists uh, stacked straight, forearms uh, stacked vertically, and then the elbows are out in front of you here, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna stack those uh, wrists over, elbows out in front, forearms vertical. You're gonna lean back slightly. As you press overhead, be careful that you just don't push that head through. You want the entire torso to go through. So that's gonna engage the core, that's gonna force you to get into full extension. So you're gonna press overhead, push that entire torso through, and then back. So here, and then, okay? Now, if you've got a lot of shoulder pain, shoulder injuries, play around with the grip. So you can go a little bit wider, which is gonna force the elbows out a little bit wider, but just make sure the elbows are out in front, okay? You can go a little bit closer as well. Uh, play around with your range of motion as well. So here, okay, forearms in, so sticking that head through. If you, if it feels better to actually add that shoulder shrug or shoulder uh, elevation, you can, or you can keep the shoulders down as well to engage more of the traps uh, and the lats there, all right? So a bunch of different ways. There's not one way that's right or wrong uh, to make this more efficient for you guys. Find that comfortable grip width and then find that comfortable shoulder uh, range of motion, okay? We are, like I said, we always look for full range of motion. We want that head to go through as well as the torso, uh, but then play around with, the, with your scapula as well as your shoulder with the elevation and the depression just to see how that feels on your shoulder. Try that, always keep that core nice and engaged. Let me know how that goes. We'll see you soon.